Don't you wish you could do that? Hydra. Nat, I got something better. Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. In today's episode, Hydra. In Greek mythology, Hydra is a multi-headed mythical serpent. The number of head varies between stories and artworks, going from 6, 9, to even 50, besides its multiple heads and regenerative power, the Hydra also has blood and breath so poisonous, a mere scent could kill. Named after the mythical creature, Hydra strikes from multiple directions with its army of drones and turns the landscape into a killing field. Looking at its stat, Hydra has an average health, one armor, below average evasion and good E defense. It is very fast but its heat cap is slightly bad. However, it can hack well with its tech attack bonus and average sensor range. Onto its trait, it has two of them. First, System Link, give all Hydra's deployables and drones an additional plus 5 health. Second, Shepherd Field, give all objects, deployables, and drones close to Hydra resistance to all damage. These two traits allow Hydra to provide a significant buff to its swarm of drones and deployables. As for its weapon mounts, Hydra has two, one main and one heavy, along with eight base system points to customize its systems. Onto its core system, Hydra has the Orochi Disarticulation. Essentially, as a passive, every time you rest or full repair, Hydra can separate a piece of itself as a drone. These drones are size half and have 10 base health, which is further increased with plus 5 from Hydra's trait, and an additional HP equals to your grit. Its evasion, E defense, and speed will be the same as what you have, but no armor. This drone can move on their own during your turn, and if your mech can fly or teleport, they get to do the same too. With a quick action, you can recall them back to your mech, uniting the two of you back together and making it untargetable. Another quick action is needed to send them back out. If they are ever destroyed, no! don't worry, you get another one after a rest or full repair. You may also change the drone type each time you take a rest and full repair from the following options. Guardian Drone, which protects everyone nearby with a shield that gives incoming ranged attack a plus one difficulty. Snare Drone, which as a reaction, can immobilize anyone that start they turn or move close to it if they fail an agility save. The target can get rid of this by repeating the save with a quick action, destroying the drone, or having the drone moves. Shredder Drone, which as a reaction, can give anyone that start their turn or move close to it 1d3 kinetic damage and shred them until the end of their next turn if they fail their hull save. And finally, Hunter Drone, which cause anyone standing right next to it unable to benefit from invisibility, and the drone can make a lock on attack with your system score on nearby character on its turn too. As for the core power, Hydra activates full deployment and deploys all four drone types together for the rest of the scene. And when you recall or deploy them, you can do so with any number of them. With Hydra's traits, passive, and core power combined, Hydra could easily turn Lancer into a tower defense game. For the rest of the license, you get Ghoul Nexus and Puppet Master in the first section. Ghoul Nexus is a flexible main Nexus weapon that can switch damage type on the go. Sadly, that doesn't include burn or heat damage, still has decent range though. Puppet Master is a quick tech upgrade that give you two additional quick tech actions. First, Guide the Flock, allows you to move all drones within your sensor range four spaces in any direction, whether it's yours or enemies ones. Second, Electro Pulse, makes every single deployables or drones within your sensor range, including the enemies one, to send out an electric pulse, dealing 1d6 AP energy damage or half upon a successful agility save to all characters of your choice close to those deployables and drones besides you. In the second section, you get Gast Nexus and Assassin Drone. Gast Nexus is a heavy Nexus weapon that you can also deploy as a drone within your sensor range with a quick action that persists until the end of your scene. As a drone, you can still fire it normally with action like skirmish or barrage but it traces line of sight from its new location. You may also redeploy or recall it back with a quick action and while it is a tough bugger with excellent evasion and e-defense along with two armor, if it's destroyed in drone form, you gonna need to repair it to use it again. Assassin Drone, 
is yet another drone that shoots people in their face. With a quick action, you can deploy the drone right beside you and command it to target an area within your sensor range and line of sight. If any hostile character move more than one space in that area, assassin drone can make a ranged attack against the character as a reaction with your grid against their evasion, dealing 1d6 kinetic damage on hit. As usual, the drone and the area it targets persist until the end of the scene, you can also recall it, redeploy it to another area within your sensor range, or retarget a new area with a quick action. In the final section, you get Tempest Drone and Annihilation Nexus. Tempest Drone, is a defensive drone. With a quick action, you can deploy it within your sensor range. The drone has resistance to all damage, and any target that start their turn or move close to the drone must pass a hull save or take 1d6 energy damage and get knocked back by 3 spaces. The drone persists until the end of the scene, you may also redeploy the drone to a new location within your sensor range with a quick action. Annihilation Nexus Basically surrounds your mech in a cloud of nano machines. AP, smart, it's gonna get a little crazy but it has a range that basically said don't get close to me or my 10 billion buddies are gonna eat you alive. You might notice the damage a little low, but don't worry, after firing it, you can fire the weapon again as a protocol at the start of your next turn. But this free attack can't benefit from bonus damage so it might sucks a little. But, there's more. Don't want to put your mech in harm's way by getting too close to dangerous enemies. Put your drone right next to them instead, because you can use Annihilation Nexus from any of your deployed drone instead. But, they must be within your sensor range, and you can only do one at a time. As a conclusion, Hydra is not just a mech that can deploy an army of drones, it can also effectively command them, turning the battlefield into a nightmare for your enemies. However you want to use Hydra for, just remember one thing. Drones are more expendable than your mech, and your mech is more expendable than you.